Hello friends, welcome to my channel, my silver example. In last video, we have seen how to install TestNG in Eclipse IDE. In this video, we will run our first program in TestNG framework. So see, when we learn any new programming language, first program that we run is Hello World, right? So in the same way, we will run our first simple program in TestNG. So see, for that, we will go to File, New, we will create our first project. So, what are the project? You see, anyhow, we are using Java language only. So, we have to create Java project. So, we are clicking on Java project. Now, see, we have to give some name to this project. So, I am giving test ng project 1. Okay. Next. Then, finish. Okay. So, we don't want to create this module dash info dot Java file. So, don't create okay so we have created this project right now see we have to create our first program we have to write our first program so right click on this new then class okay we'll give some name so suppose i want to give name program one okay now see uh, normally we add this public static void main this function we add okay this is important function when we write any java program okay so here we'll add it okay so see this is how we get our first program okay when we add any class so we get this code right now see in testng we don't require this main method okay we have to delete that okay i have deleted that now see i am writing first function or method public white and suppose i am giving name test case one so this is a function so that's why round brackets like this and see here there will be code for the test case this will be the code for test case so any test case you can write for example finding broken links in our website suppose we want to count trains in our website something like that okay so any test case code we can write here now see here uh, simply I am writing hello world I uh, will write some in test case one. So see yes y yes o then control space enter. Okay, so we are getting this system dot out dot print and here I am writing something like this in test case one. Okay, something some simple statement I have added there. But uh, actually when we use the test engine, so at that time we have to write code for the test case, right? But here we are just checking how to use testing so one simple statement here i have added now see i want to run this but see uh, when we run any java program so we require main method right but we have removed that main method now see in test engine basically we are writing java code only right here we don't require java compiler to run this program see test engine will use java compiler in the background but at front side we are using test engine right in the background test engine will use java compiler to run this program but in the front, we are using test ng, right? Now, see, test ng should know this is the test case, and for that purpose, we have to add one annotation. So, see, add test, T E S T. So, see, when I am writing like this, so test ng will come to know this is test ng code. Okay, this is the first test case. Okay, so test ng will come to know about that. Now, see, it is showing red line. So, I am taking cursor over here. Now, see, here, some options are there so what we have to click add test ng library see i have to click on add test ng library okay now see when i click on that so this test ng library is added in our project right this test ng library is added in our project now see, again it is showing red line so now i am taking cursor over there now see import test from this org dot test ng dot annotation okay so we have to import test this package we have to import now see this package is imported there right now see we will run our code so see for this this program one dot java i am right clicking on it run as now see it is not a java application so because there is no main method right here it is a test ng test we are getting option test ng test now we have to click on this so see here we got the output now check this so see uh, what output we got in test case one see here this we have written in this system dot out of right in test case one so that output we got along with that as it is a test ng code 
it is a testing framework we got something more here you can see right so it is showing this test case one this function name this test case is passed then it is showing default is test run one because there is only one test case so it is run no failures no skips and this should default should so uh, default should total test run one passes one fail or zero skip zero okay so that is the extra information that we got how many tests are passed now see uh, we'll do one more thing we'll add one more uh, function so suppose i'm adding public wide test case 2 and here suppose i am writing this code s y s o control space enter okay so we got this system dot print and in double code we will mention in test case 2 okay so just like this is a code for test case in the same way this is also the code for test case right this is also the code for the test case now see we will run it let us see so again uh, run as test ng test right now see we will check output so see uh, we got output in test case 1 so this output from this right but we were expecting we should get output this also in test case 2 but we didn't get that output right if we scroll down so there is no output in test case 2 the reason is test ng will identify it is a test case code only if we provide the annotation right if you provide the annotation then test ng will come to know that is a test case program a test case code and for because of that we have here we have to add annotation so see here i am adding this annotation test -E okay so that annotation i have to add okay so i have added that now we will see again we will run our code so see run as test ng test or directly also from here also we can do that okay right click run as test ng test now see so see in test case one from this in test case two this right so there are two tests right this is the one test and this is the second test right this is the second test so there are two tests one function test case one another function test case two then here it is showing test one two right failure zero skip zero and here default should test case uh, test one two passes to failure zero skip zero right so in this way here we have written two test cases okay simple code here we have added a system to out of print event, but uh, actually for project when you write the test cases so there more code will be there right for example finding out broken links or something else like that okay so in this way we can write our first program for the test ng so friends i hope you like this video if yes then click on like subscribe to the channel and don't forget to press bell icon so that you will get notification of my next video so stay connected thank you